Hi, I'm Brian Jackson with IT World Canada, and I'm here today at SAS Live in Toronto. With me is Pat Finnerty, the Vice President of uh, Alliances for Canada and Latin America. Right. Okay, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so it was a great session today. I, I learned a lot, and I wonder if you can tell me uh, a bit of a recap of the first thing we heard today. Uh, the presentation was talking about how SAS is in the middle of uh, this pie chart that had three slices, deployment, discovery, and data. What does that mean? Well, it's, it means that SAS is continuing with their legacy of the last 40 years, helping our clients achieve the power to know. We've always been about deploying advanced analytics to drive business value and better business outcomes. And with the world we're entering now with Hadoop and big data, SAS has chosen to put ourselves right in the center of that whole process again. Uh, the power that's coming out of IT right now is such that what we used to have to spend weeks or months building models so that we could have a significant improvement in a business outcome, now we have visualization tools and in-memory analytic capabilities so we can discover new business opportunities in the data and then SAS leverages its strengths in deployment so that you can't just find out the answer but you can deploy that, operationalize it and make decisions at scale. We were hearing from a couple of your customers on stage, and what I got out of that was that uh, working with SaaS is not just, you know, here's the product, go put it to work. It's more of a partnership. They were working with SaaS and Hortonworks, making sure that they deployed that, and even working with them on organizational change to be able to make use of it. Tell me about how that works. Well, first of all, SaaS's legacy is we've been the leaders in customer engagement and customer retention for our entire legacy. So SaaS has always been it for a long-term customer relationship. We're continuing with what we've done forever. But this is particularly unique now. Innovation has accelerated so much that you have to get deeply involved with your clients and you have to make commitments to innovate together with them. And sometimes just not just your client, but your business partners as well, like Hortonworks. So that's exactly what we've been doing with Rogers and Hortonworks. We had an innovator in Chris Dingle who came and said, we want to tackle some of the disruption in our industry with the over-the-top uh, players in the industry. We want to really deeply understand our customers, do audience analytics, and he says, I have a vision of leveraging Hadoop and SaaS to do that, and we partnered with him deeply, not just on from an R&D and product management perspective, but our services organization, our sales organization, but even our HR organization, our change management experience, employee engagement, career development, skills, skills and knowledge transfer, all of those aspects, we, we made all of the resources of the company available, and we've done some fantastic things together as a result. And when you're working in these partnerships, uh, after a few years now deploying things like this, I wonder if you can just share with us uh, some exciting examples of where you're seeing this put to be put to work. Well, some of the most exciting things that are happening right now, I think, uh, you heard that banking and telco, healthcare and retail are all industries where there's a ton of innovation happening around big data and analytics. And one of the things that big data is enabling is relevance for the customer. You sometimes hear it referred to as programs around next best action. And that's where really an organization says, we have to stop thinking ourselves as one distribution channel or one product line. We have to realize that a customer today is interacting with us through the web. They may be uh, monitoring our Facebook uh, page. They maybe have tweeting information. They may get recommendations from other, other sources, plus all of our old legacy channels like the telephone or, or in-store. And so Next Best Action allows companies to take all that data in real time, understand the full value of the customer, and have the most relevant action for the next interaction point ready to go. And we're seeing that across all those industries, and that's a very exciting program that we've been working on with a number of our biggest clients. Interesting to hear about. Pat, thanks so much for your time. Again, I'm Brian Jackson with ITWorldCanada.com.